Good evening, everybody. Hypercritical One here. I'm currently riding southbound on the Coast Starlight in my room on the train heading to California. I'm on my way to Texas, to Grand Prairie. And I am... Just sitting here, thought I'd make a video. Um, maybe do a little tour of the train as well. Um, it's about 8.30 right now. I've been on the train about six hours and about over six hours, like six and a half hours. And uh, I'll get to the Bay Area tomorrow morning about 8.15 and then meet up with somebody to drive to Texas tomorrow. Um, sorry if this video is a little boring. Um, it's kind of laid back right now. Had a great, wonderful steak dinner on the train. And uh, I'll get up here in a minute and show you around. I'm in my room. I mean, this is, there's the door. Stairs going to the upper level. I'm actually in the lower level in room 11. A um, couple critters over there. Um, that seat will match the seat I'm on and fold down into a bed um, as soon as the guy makes up my room, which will be uh, when we get to Klamath Falls. Uh, we just left Chamult, Oregon about, I don't know, 15 minutes ago, 15, 20 minutes ago. We're about an hour for Klamath Falls now. Um, it's pitch black outside now, and so let's get up and show you that's room 12 across the hall. Now, nobody's in room 12, 13, or 14. The lower level of the superliners have four roomettes downstairs, which are rooms 11 to 14. And then a family room, which somebody is in, is room 15. So the roomettes are basically like this. You have one seat facing each way. And then the top berth comes down. You just pull this down. And up there is all your bedding for both beds. And then the, that is your ladder, actually, to get up to the upper berth. But you don't use it if there's only one person. But you have panoramic, panoramic windows on both sides. It's really nice. Um, they used to have music on these a long time ago, but they don't anymore. This is your ceiling light, light off, and night light. Each chair has an individual bright light. Like, oh, this one doesn't work. That's nice. Your temperature controls, cooler, normal, and hot. Always keep it cooler. Emergency sign, you got a coat hook there, your towels, because I'm in a sleeper, there is a shower on this car, coat hanger, and this is a strap that they use for the upper berth for security. Uh, at night, when you're ready to go to sleep, these curtains will come over and cover the entryway, and there's also curtains uh, for the windows facing outside. So that's pretty much a roomette in a nutshell. I mean, it is not massive, but it works for one person. Believe me. So let me go to the other end. Pardon me. So this is the other end. There are three restrooms. One, two, three. Right here, this is the shower dressing room. You can see towels, a little area, and then the shower. It's not big. Soap, which is a soaper idea when you're showering. Then you come down here. This is room, what they call bedroom H. This is the accessible room. Now this has the two seats on one side, but then has a curtain, and it has its own restroom in it because it's designed for those in wheelchairs and accessibility. So that is the lower level 
of this is car 1132 on the Coast Starlight, and this is the lower level of the Superliner. I, again, there's the hallway. As you can see, I'm standing at the doorway of the room H, and at the other end is room 15, which is the family room. I cannot show that because there's somebody in there. And these here are where you enter and exit the train, depending on which side the platform's on. And then it gives you a map. So upstairs you have bedrooms A to E and roomettes 1 to 10. Down here, which I've mentioned, is rooms 11 to 15. And then room H here at the end. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the Superliner. I'll see you. Stay tuned. I'll be having some videos from Texas when I get there. Uh, looking forward to this. And comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, upload a uh, video. A startup video if you want a shout out. Other than that, have a great night. Bye now.